Shadow the Hedgehog, as well as every Sonic game featuring Shadow the Hedgehog. I just think it's silly. <laughs> Hedgehog is a video game where you're playing as Shadow the Hedgehog. So the thing about Shadow the Hedgehog is that it exists. That's what we have to keep in mind. It's a game, man, and I loved it when I was a kid. I loved it so much. It embodied who I was as a person. Edgy, small, black. But what's the game like? Well, you're basically Black Sonic, and you shoot people with guns. You know what? Young kids, they freak out whenever you give things guns. As soon as you do that, they become instantly cooler. Look at, like, just you can see it in popular culture. That's like if they put guns in Mario, it would never happen. But they did it. Let's take, let's take Sonic, and, and we'll, we'll take his black counterpart. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give him a gun, and people will love it. Yes, I want to play that. Yeah, of course I want to play that. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't I want to play that? This is why Sonic games might be fun. Of course, uh, the problem is they, they gave him a gun, so now it's too edgy. The small kids who wanted to play the Shadow of the Hedgehog, they couldn't anymore because it's rated T for teen uh, because Shadow now has guns. I, we just need more games like that where the developers don't care. But if it's rated T for teen, what did they expect to play the game? I just always remember the opening of that game. It was like, because I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> Did he just cock an MP5 like a shotgun? So he doesn't really even use a gun, he just teleports around, he just punches people to seemingly unconsciousness and or death. What if implied death? No actual real death. Look at that, he's killing everybody, not just aliens, he's killing people, he... Oh, there goes Sonic. Oh, there he goes, there, got him. <laughs> And you see Sonic on the ground, like sticking his arm out, like trying not to die. And then it pans up to Shadow and he cocks an assault rifle. <laughs> okay, using the special telekinetic powers, I, I can get behind that, whatever. Incredible things are gonna explode, the world's gonna end chaos. And it all led to that shot. It's like Sonic is gonna die. I can't believe, I still can't believe that is an official rendered cutscene that they put out. Like the edginess, it was building up to that for years. Sonic just kept getting more and more edgy. Well, so as you can see, Shadow is very much here to destroy everything. Now, let's talk about the story. Shadow is, I guess it's, like you got, this game has like five or six different endings and they're like, you know, a range of like being goody two shoes helping Sonic out. Um, that's how it goes. That's the story. Now, I think you're, you're being like coursed by this devil man. And he's basically the devil. They don't really change anything about it. He's a tentacle monster and then he's not. He can take different forms. He's the devil. And sometimes he can flick from one ending to another and you get different things. You really get to decide. So he tries to make you evil and you can choose to be either, be either evil or not evil. Yeah, help. You get, you get to switch between different supporting characters. This Rouge, this Knuckles. And when you're not evil, you like become the assistant to the president of the United States or something like that. They just go, they go completely for it. Uh, the gameplay is awful. The gameplay is just terrible. Uh, every time he gets hit, he says, damn it. You know, the voice acting, so bad, but that's what makes it great. There's one time when Tails is following you around and he's like, oh wow, look at all those Eggman's robots. He moves so fast. He moves so fast. But you gotta stand still to shoot your guns. You know, this game had multiplayer. Remember that? The multiplayer is also bad because you can play a shadow who can bounce around and hit things and pick up different kind of guns. Or you could literally just play as a robot alien guy with an infinite ammo rocket launcher. And if we played multiplayer, you know I'm gonna pick Metal Shadow, who's a character that doesn't exist. So I'm gonna choose him and I'm gonna win. Yeah. 
Yeah, a, a lot of people did that. A lot of people did that. Shadow the Hedgehog is an anomaly of a game, really. I'd rather play it over Sonic Mania. Ooh, I shouldn't say that. Oh no, I really enjoy this game because of the guns and the vehicles and how ridiculous it is. L listen, listen hear, hear me out. Sonic Mania, graphics, amazing. Love the sprite art, love that. Music, incredible. The themes of the levels, awesome. Love all that. I was one with the Dark Hedgehog, and I was ready to see him destroy everything with guns and cars. I mean, pr pretty much, he just destroyed everybody who was in his way. I, that's just what happened, I guess. The gameplay is the same thing that's been on the Genesis 20 whatever years ago. I don't get it, it's, it's not that fun, man. You can take street signs off and hit people with them. That's pretty cool. You see, Sonic is not actually fast. It's more like he accelerates. So every time you stop in that game, you have to spend like a full two seconds holding right before Sonic like actually starts to move. And then you either bump into a wall. I think I was like in elementary school. Or hit an enemy because you don't know what's ahead of you and you're going too fast and you get hit and then you got to start up again. It's awful. When did I get a Wii? It's not fun. Every level is a maze. I have no idea where I'm going. I just run and run and run until I hit a wall, and then I try to like, go up, I guess. Up and run. Just go up and run. Eventually, we People really love this game. Like, they say this is the best Sonic game. I give Sonic Mania, like, a boring out of 100. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, shooting things and destroying the environment, that was great. I never really ran. I was never a fast boy. i just always pick up guns whenever I'd see them and walk around like a freaking old man <laughs> who was small and a black hedgehog. Hey, did you know that in Shadow the Hedgehog, in the single player campaign, when you have a thing, when you have like a Tails or whoever following you around, you can plug in a second controller and the person can play as Tails, just like you could in the original Sonic. Shadow the Hedgehog, as well as every Sonic game featuring Shadow the Hedgehog following the events of Sonic Adventure 2, just basically undermines the sacrifice of the end of Sonic Adventure 2, which, uh, by the way, is considered the greatest game ever made. Don't fight me on that. So, listen. It's not really like a great game. This game has given me a conniption. 600 this game is 16. 17. Thousand? See all of me